I had an injury four years ago where I started getting a sharp pain in my left knee, which meant that I had to stop running for a bit. I really loved running. It was something that was part of my daily life. It was also something that I used to clear my mind, but then also maintain my weight. And in the past couple of years with gyms being closed, it was even harder for me to do exercise whilst I was at home. So essentially I almost stopped exercising altogether. Now don't get me wrong, I did some form of exercise, but it was nowhere near enough what I needed it to be. I set myself a goal this year that I was going to lose some weight because I ultimately felt really unhealthy and really not confident about how I looked. And in all honesty, I did not want to make this video. Like right now, I'm feeling quite nervous because this is something that's quite personal for me. I'm really unhappy about how I look. And when people make comments about how I've gained weight and how much bigger I look, like it hurts. And so it's part of the reason why I want to lose this weight, which is a bit of a negative motivation, but it's also for my own health. And like feeling like I know I can look and feel a lot better than I do right now. And so the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanna share this journey with you. I know a few of you that are watching this might also feel self-conscious about your weight and how you look. And maybe by me showing you my journey, then maybe you can also benefit in some way, shape or form. And we can share our stories and see how we can help each other. I think you'd be happy to know that I've already made a bit of progress. I lost two kilos in about two weeks, which is pretty good. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what I've been doing and how I'm gonna continue making this work for me. Hitting the gym almost on the daily is something that is extremely important and it's part of my lifestyle. I'm just like literally habituated to doing that. It's just, it's something that's become automatic now because even before the pandemic hit, I was hitting it like four to five times a week, sometimes even six times a week, depending on the type of week that I had, simply because I just built up that resilience and built up that habit. And all of a sudden it just became automatic. And so I, re I do recognize that some of you that may be watching this video, that fitness part of your life may not actually be existent yet. And so I'm just telling you and sharing with you my journey for me. Because even though I was working out and I was working out for like five to six times a week, um, I still wasn't losing that weight but there's a few other changes that I've made that have really helped me um, lose a bit of that weight, that two kilos in two weeks. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. The main principle that I've been following is tiny changes, remarkable results. This has really been following like James Clear's like Atomic Habits book. The one thing that's underlying all the little changes that I've made in my diet and my exercise and all that is literally following James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. The first change I've made is black coffee. I'm sure you've heard this before when it comes to weight loss. If you wanna lose weight, then you have to burn more calories and your intaking throughout the day. A small latte on average has around 120 calories in it. Take out the milk and you're only consuming two to four. I used to have milk in my coffee and that too, instant coffee. It was super basic and now I'm even more basic and I just have black instant coffee. I used to hate it a lot and now it's just been something that I've gotten used to. I used to hate it with a passion. I don't understand how anyone could drink like black coffee and now after having it, I'm like, you know what, this is actually not that bad. Initially, I was like, I didn't like it in the beginning and it took a while to kind of uh, like accustom myself to the taste of it. But now that I've had it, I literally cannot have coffee with milk in it anymore because I just feel, it feels wrong, it feels so weird. I'm going to be straight up with you. I feel like this has been the biggest change for me and the biggest contributor to that two kilos that I've lost. Another tiny change that I've made is adding two kilometers to the end of almost every single workout that I do. I always try to finish all my workouts with at least two Ks on the treadmill. It could be done fast or slow, but I try and make sure that I always get it done. I wanted to get back into running and now that my knee has been so much better, I've been trying to increase that slowly and I feel like the running at the end of the workout has been something that's been really helping me. And the third tiny change that I've also made is training with a partner. In about 80% of my workouts, I'm training with someone else. Now this wasn't intentional, but I do believe this is something that has definitely contributed to the weight loss. I feel like I work out so much harder when I got someone with me because we push each other a lot. Plus it also makes the workout kind of fun. So these were the small changes that I've made. Having black coffee, adding 2K to the end of every workout and training with a partner. Now these things are small, they are tiny, all right? They don't seem like really big deals. Now they're tiny for me personally. I understand they can be really big deals for other people, but for me, it was like, it was something that felt like it was the appropriate tiny step to take. Now keep in mind as well, these weren't all done all at once, 
there were definitely things that I implemented over time. I was introducing them gradually throughout the weeks. But we can't stop there, my friends, because two kilos in two weeks is great and all, but we can't, we can't just finish there. We have to keep on going. And I've kind of hit a little bit of plateau. So there's a few other changes that I made, which I'm gonna share with you now. One of the other changes that I'm making is around mindset. A few days ago, I was listening to a podcast with neuroscientist and professor at Stanford School of Medicine, Andrew Huberman. And he was in conversation with Dr. Alia Crum. And they were talking about mindsets for health and performance. This is just paraphrasing now, but they were basically talking about how very often people have a mindset around healthy food where it's like, it's not enough food and like you need to eat more of it in order to feel nourished. This is actually a really unhealthy mindset that we're taking to healthy food. The more appropriate, beneficial and healthy mindset that we should be taking towards food is, this food is enough and it nourishes me. I've only recently adopted this mindset. It hasn't made any significant changes so far, but I'll definitely let you know if it does. Another change that I've recently implemented is time-restricted eating. On another one of Andrew Huberman's podcasts, he spoke about time-restricted eating and fasting, which is something that I've started implementing in the past week. Now, everyone to some extent does time-restricted eating because we don't eat while we're sleeping. It's just different hours for different people. In his podcast titled, Effects of Fasting and Time-Restricted Eating on Fat Loss and Health, Andrew pretty much said time-restricted eating can be extremely helpful for overall weight loss and health and well-being, provided that we stick to it consistently, even on weekends. And I know it's tempting to make exceptions when we have socials and stuff, but if we really want those results, then we have to be disciplined. A few other things around time-restricted eating that were also mentioned in this podcast episode are not eating within an hour of waking up, not eating three hours before you go to sleep, setting a time eating window two hours less than what you want it to be. For example, I've set my time restricted window between 12 to 6 p.m. In the podcast, it mentioned, for whatever reason, people actually eat outside of their windows. So essentially, if I've set myself this six hour window, it's more likely going to be eight. If you want more in-depth information on those things, then I definitely recommend having a look at those two episodes that I mentioned. I'll make sure I'll put them in the description of this video. Once again, I know I might've mentioned like a bunch of different things in this video, but they're literally all one percenters. They are all small things that I've done that have made a tangible difference and I'm sure will make even more differences in the future. So if you have something that you'd like to change for the better, but you feel like it might be a little bit too difficult, it might be a little bit too hard to do this or do that, then I'd highly recommend aiming for those small things. Start off super small and whatever it is that you're comfortable with. Of course, it's gonna be slightly uncomfortable, but try and pick something that you find will be the easiest for you. Like I said, the first thing that I picked was for me like black coffee. Like it was something that I didn't enjoy in the beginning, but now it's something that's just become like almost habitual in a way. Like I, like I said, I cannot drink coffee with milk anymore. Really run with this idea of tiny changes, remarkable results and bear witness to the amazing outcomes that you can get. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video. I will catch you around. See you later.